Mount Sinai Health System's equity of care journey began by confronting harsh realities. Medicine historically has resisted, denied, and avoided acknowledging the role of racism, specifically systemic racism, in medicine. We knew what the problem was. We called it out. It's racism. So what are the conditions that are holding that problem in place? To uncover these conditions, Mount Sinai convened a task force of 45 individuals from across the health system and medical school, each challenged with helping establish an anti-racist institution through intense conversations and dialogue. Well, our charge in the work that we're doing to address health equity is to identify and name the conditions, right, the structures, the policies, the practices that enable systemic racism to be perpetuated. The resulting Roadmap for Action highlights 11 specific approaches for dealing with racism, including education and training. Data and its collection has aided this effort, not just in conversations, but in the community as well. If you are able to have data segregation where you can then break it down and start to look more specifically in groups, so again, think about race, ethnicity, you can look at zip code, you can look at other factors, then you see that there are differences. Everyone didn't necessarily have that one outcome. Then you start to see where you might have issues or, or differences. That data is helping Mount Sinai expand their reach beyond hospital walls, reaching the community through its Vaxmobile and Prostate Mobile Unit, and addressing maternal mortality and morbidity through targeted engagement. To build that connection is really key and to, and to learn how we may have to adjust how we deliver services and that which we do. Through their work, Mount Sinai is telling a story with the beginning and middle, but no end, replacing a finale with a clear determination to persist. Can't expect everything at once, have to be tenacious, have to understand how to make business partners because it's not something that like, one group just does by themselves. What is important to do next is to stay the course, to stay at the learning edge, to continue to learn and unlearn, to continue to self-reflect and self-interrogate and engage in dialogue. That is what is next. Congratulations to Mount Sinai Health System in New York City, winner of the 2022 Carolyn Boone Lewis Equity of Care Award. My friend Dr. Ken Davis and the Mount Sinai team have done a stellar job ensuring the people of New York City have equitable access to care. Their work can be seen through their Roadmap for Action. This has led them out into the community where engagement, data collection, and education are helping address inequities. We're also pleased to honor Jefferson Health in Philadelphia for their incredible work to improve diversity and inclusion strategies through the recruitment and retention of individuals from historically underrepresented groups. And finally, we honor Novant Health in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for their efforts to build trust and understanding with the LGBTQ community.